Hello and welcome. My name is Clough and this is Old Worlds as Greece. And uh, we left off just here with an event. Um, and uh, let's get into it. I'm sorry about that bit of a shaky start there. I uh, sort of sort of knew what I was going to say and then lost it halfway through, so I apologise. But um, so... News of our siblings, reputation at the Academy of Re Rhetoric has achieved, reached, man, I can't read, the palace. Apparently, her songs and poems have mesmerised the teachers and other students. Such skills should determine Duchess Laodice's future. Now, this is the person I wanted to become an ambassador, so it makes great sense to make her an ambassador. So... Uh, so, another event about her. The past few years have not been easy, but your sibling has grown and prospered. She returns to you now as a confident adult, eager to play in the part in the fate of Greece. Tonight, the capital celebrates. So, all families would like me more for 10 years. That could be very useful. Although, I am going to go for Corinth, getting more culture, I believe. Um, because I would like to get them to a higher rate. So... Wishing to do their part in the fate of Athens, eager citizens have offered to journey out into the wilderness and scavenge for food. You are not needed, so I don't really need the food, and the orders would be pretty useful to us. So, again, don't really need the food. I am going to go ahead and get polis for the hamlets, which will bring gold in uh, as an improvement. So, one of, your, one of our most prosperous neighbours has become home to a burgeoning intellectual movement. Many of the capital's most talented young figures emerge from the area, and we should take notice. Uh, whom should we bring to court? Great scientist, great minister. Go for a great scientist, why not? Um, a mercenary band of chariots. Oh, okay. Because um, I don't. It's greyed out because I don't have an. It's blacked out, sorry, because I don't have enough gold right now. However, could just sell a bit of stone and uh, go back and uh, buy those guys. So, your heir, Princess Aspasia, has been caught bullying her brother, Duke Nikias. Such repeated torment appears to be taking a toll. How will you handle this family strife? So she would gain more courage and less charisma. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna get, get ignore it and, and uh, say dominance is the natural order, which is kind of harsh, but oh well. Right, let's get a granary built here to improve this circle of farms that eventually uh, will be there. So. Um, Oh yeah, this guy came and uh, attacked us last turn, so let's start attacking you. Let's get this explored. Hopefully find another city site to uh, sit on top of. I want to get you guys back over this way. So that we can go ahead and... Um, Take the city eventually. <laughs> so yes, we will get the um, chariots over here. Always a good thing. Getting more units, especially when we don't have to wait for them to be produced. Next year, I think I am going to start producing um, units from Sparta, as we said we were going to. And uh, use that as sort of a hub from military. And let's bring this year to a close. <laughs> Okay, we have received an update from your daughter in training. She complains about the harshness of military exercises and weapons drills and wishes and he, and I think that's supposed to be she, and she wishes us to hire a veteran soldier to tutor her privately. Yeah, sure, I'll um, spend the money for that, why not? Even though I don't have too much money left. As you advance in years, your days are filled with your thoughts of your legacy. The court wishes to commission an official account of your life. Several scholars have been approached, and our ministers have freed your time to focus on this epic task. This biography could be how the ages remember you, if that is how you choose to be remembered. So I could write it myself. Um, well, I could, if I was a schemer. I... Uh, could say that it's important for posterity, which would help with Corinth. Yeah, it's it's important for posterity, is what I'm going to say. I'm 
gonna get you sat over there so that nobody can take that. You are going to kill him. You're gonna come back over to here. I'm gonna I'm gonna have them stay here in the city because I will eventually have a settler there soon. So if I just get them to essentially sleep here, this should be no problem. So, the war with Gauls have gone on long enough. You may wish to consider peace. Our spies report that one of the Gaul warlords seeks a mate. A match with your heir may be the solution to all of your problems. Nope. No, 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 no. Not matching my heirs with a filthy barbarian. Only the land of the civilized. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Man, I'm, I'm not doing very well at the commentary on this episode, guys. I am, I am sorry. It is, it's quite difficult talking to yourself, as I've found... It is not the easiest thing in the world. I'm going to get her discipline increased. So, um, in a stroke of good luck, Pausanias has come into possession of a lion, a rare exotic creature from the south. He wishes to use the beast in one of Simon's science lessons. So, the 34-year-old diplomat. But the boy is reluctant. All it took was one look at the cat's enormous teeth. This is rather weird, but... No, he can, he can go ahead and he can learn about it face to face. So, we do have enough for another law. I should have really been paying attention to that. Um, so, we can go with Constitution, uh, which would allow me to... Which would uh, unlock the decree in the capital, which is a project. They That family would like us more, and we would get plus 10 civics per turn, which would always be good. Or Tyranny, which would give us more uh, gold, depending on uh, the amount of military units within um, city territories. So, I am going to go for Constitution. I don't particularly like the sound of tyranny. So, um, constitution will be a good choice, I believe. Now. Let's go ahead and uh, build a barracks. Okay, you can um, stay there. So you can sleep for now. Uh, sleep for now. There we go. So next turn, I'll immediately settle that city. And I probably will go for another... Maybe from Athens, I'll go for another, um, settler. So, my daughter, Prince Aspasia, is barely able to contain her excitement. She made several wise business investments with city merchants and her profits far exceed expectations. Wanting to please you, Princess, Princess Aspasia asked how she should use this windfall. Our city is overflowing with the poor and hungry. You should keep the fruits of your own labour. Hmm. I'm going to say she becomes gracious. So. The royal family of Babylon visits the court during a feast. Prince S. Melulatum makes a shocking boast about how much better a ruler she will be one day. King Nebuchadnezzar the wise chides her for her brash... For, again, like, for his brashness. And turns to us for support. What do you say? So... How old is Nebuchadnezzar? Because that is... He's 60, so it's possible that even the, the relationship boost may not even be that much worth it. Sure, I'll, I'll go for the happiness with um, Nebuchadnezzar, because he probably will last a bit longer. So my queen, she shall be the governor of Sparta, now that it's gotten this garrison, which is... We'll improve it in these ways. Pastures and camps will also increase in their output, which is which is grand. So uh, there we go. That's why it's it's good to get governors as quick as you can. One still night, the uh, the earth eclipses the moon and turns its surface a bloody red. Our soldiers believe this to be an ill omen, and they express anxiety about their fortune in coming battles. What will you tell your officers? We can use the darkness to our advantage. Our wise men say it is a natural occurrence. Give offerings to the gods and pray for daylight. Mm, I'm going to go for the wise men because um, that should give us another. Yeah, it does. Look, again, a settler. That, that is exactly what I want in one turn as well. That is unbelievable. And the Gauls have just spawned there. That is cr unbelievably lucky. But there we go. I'm now known as the warrior. That is because I've killed six units in battle. So that does give us better legitimacy. As they loot the Gaul camp, our soldiers free a group of terrified prisoners. These ragged men claim to be skilled laborers from a rival tribe, but our units suspect that they are enemies posing as captives. 
we must be prudent to execute the prisoners. So they would hate us, but I would gain vigilance. I would gain a... I am going to say, yeah, gain a citizen in Corinth. Because, I mean, maybe that will lead to a bad event where they end up, I don't know, going crazy and uh, killing everyone. But I guess we'll find out. So, mines and lumber mills. I am going to have quite a number of mines here because you can see it's quite mountainous. So, it's not that mountainous actually. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, um... Yeah, I'm going to say uh, for the mines and lumber mill output here. So I'm going to give it to this family. So there we go. We now control four cities, which completes that legacy. And also we should have completed that quest for founding the new city. So the settlers of Thebes are happy to know that their home was founded at an auspicious time in accordance with the word of your diviners. So that was because we completed a um, quest to settle that city. So Thebes will gain more culture, which means that... It will almost be developing immediately, which is great. And, um, let's go ahead. I'm going to use this scout just to get rid of this fog of war. I'm going to use this uh, builder here to build the quarry. I'm going to spend that because I've got plenty. And um, with it being next to the mountains, it's going to give us a lot of stone. I should start building wonders, really, or trying to. So settlers would take a while, really. I'm going to go for the extra forum. For the time being. Corinth. Again, the extra forum is probably the good way to go. 11 years for a settler, that's unbelievable. 13 years. Forum again. Yeah, it's, it's always good, I believe, to start with Forum just because of the additional... Oh, I'm at war. So I could start an ambition to kill 10 enemy units. I am going to do that, actually. I'm going to start another ambition. So... Right, okay. It's probably time to change this then. So, get a warrior here. Oh. Front of the queue, please. Thebes, uh, get a warrior, and Sparta, also a warrior, the front of the queue please, choose a city, okay, so we have multiple scientists, so we have the builder, hmm, I would add 15.3 wisdom. I am, I'm, it wouldn't be tutoring the royal family any longer. However, 15.3 science is significant. So, I am uh, most certainly going ahead with that one. So, um, that would unlock ambassador, which one of my family members can become, which I'm definitely going to go ahead and uh, do as soon as I possibly can. Now, would it be wise to go and build a send a settler up there to found a new city? Or should we wait? Or maybe we could go and uh, build it here. I'm probably going to build it there. So you promote immediately and do, do guard then since that's the only thing I can actually give you. You, yep, yeah. you heal and you heal. Can I potentially hurry the production? I don't have enough civic for that. I would require sell it. I would require this to be a seat to the patrons. Okay, no, nah, it's fine. I can't rush anything, really. Mm. 
Ooh, the lag there was kind of crazy. Right, let's move you. Oh, nice, another sacred tomb. Our expedition approaches an ancient monument. The structure appears to be the tomb of a great leader. An inscription reads, Passerby, whoever you may be, I was once the king of kings. Grudge me not. Therefore, this piece of earth that covers my body. So, I could gain Gracious. I'm going to go for more science again because we've been compounding that on and we, we do have quite a bit of science, so quite happy with that. More Goals, man, they're everywhere. I haven't actually met another tribe yet, which is kind of crazy. Also, once you've done your fisher, go ahead and build a slinger for me. Sure, yeah, go ahead and kill my scouts. As long as you're not focusing on my cities, I don't really care. So Nebuchadnezzar's died. She doesn't like me very much as far as I'm aware. Yeah, she's upset with me. I'm now known as the learned because of discovering texts. Always good. A new marriage proposal for Princess Aspasia has arrived from these families. <laughs> so Governor Pausanias the Scientist has eight wisdom. Hmm. What is our standing with the family is? I'm going to go for the Al Alchemanid because they need the opinion more than the other family does. So, a marriage proposal has arrived from for Duke Nikias. Sure, yeah, I will I will definitely go for you. Um, because you're not as important. <laughs> and... Let's go for the extra laws, harbour, and things like that. Public purse, now that Thieves thrives, its elders wish to do more for the poor. A proposal for welfare provisions in Thieves reaches the court, and debate begins. Imposing a grant of money for the hungry would reduce the state's funds, but it would set a powerful precedent we would be seen as the protector of the people. So, I could establish a grain doll, which would reduce the money per year in Thebes, but it would reduce the unrest. Hmm, I'm just going to do the grain doll. I'm not going to move my units, so... Just gonna go ahead and get you down here as quick as I can. Oh shit, wait, has he already. Fuck! Ah! I didn't see the city! I even saw the name! And I thought it was a preview of what mine was gonna be called. Ah! That is so frustrating. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. A minor setback. Minor. Right, um, let's get another barrack starting to be built in Sparta. Let's get you to safety over here. Sure, I'll add a general to you, why not? You do get increased defense, which will actually be really good because I'm not planning on using that slinger pretty much at all. So do you... Do you have to have certain skills to be the, the general of certain units then? Because obviously these weren't available just. She could be a general, but I would like her to be my ambassador if possible. Yes. Thank you. I forgot about that. Thank you for reminding me. I'm going to add a general. So wait, can she be my ambassador and lead this army? She can. Multitasking like a boss. Let's go. Heal you. And just wait a turn on this guy. You can come over here. Right. Let's just end the turn. See what the Assyrians do. 
While passing your son's Duke Nikias Chambers, you overhear him criticising the court, specifically your leadership, interrupting politely, you offer to explain your choices and to educate him on the challenges of governing. Skeptical, Duke Nikias listens to your philosophy. Oh. Hmm. So he becomes inspired. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, it only matters how you lead. Now that Duke Nikias has completed the study of philosophy, how shall you contribute to the court? What role best suits Nikias? Let's go for a. Um, let's go for a uh, scholar. No, oh, builder. Sorry, a builder is what I actually meant. The childhood feud between Princess Aspasia and Duke Nikias has escalated. We have discovered that Duke Nikias is offering members of the court substantial bribes to loot the other way while assassins kill Princess Aspasia. I can accept the bribe. Uh, refuse the bribe and warn Princess Aspasia. Yeah, throw him in prison. Yeah, you can't just go around murdering people. Even though I just did turn him into a scholar. Like, I don't care. I'm not going to let you murder my first in line. It's kind of freaking me out a little bit how both my spouse and my heir have the same picture. But then again, it's an early access game. There's the That is something they're probably going to build upon. The variety of uh, portraits and things like that is going to probably come with time. And the same with events and things. Um, because like from like a perspective of what's actually already been programmed, it seems perfect. Like Everything seems to be in place that you would expect for, for a release game. Um, so I'm more than happy with what we've got so far. So... Huh. I'm gonna go ahead and build a, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and build a... So you don't get that from mountains, okay. Quarry then. So just heal whilst you're in my territory. You get out of there. Nothing we can do there now that I've realised. Just sleep, sleep for now. Waiting for these Assyrians. To be fair, I probably shouldn't wait. I should probably go on the attack to Kanesh. So I am going to be doing that extremely soon. Spearman, I would like. Spearman, please. I'm going to move you over there. Since um, they're all done, I'm just going to move you across to this city to go ahead and start building on these improvements in Thieves because these are two cities that haven't really been improved almost at all, so they do need some attention. Right, so... Let's move... I'm going to move... Two orders there. Two orders... This should allow me to move three orders. Right, um... You... Right, so, um, oof. I can also move you down as well. I am going to buy the two orders just to get him closer. Because again, I'm not using that for anything right now, so there's no point in me stockpiling it when I can potentially get closer. So, Slingers, Guardian, Spearman, Guardian. He's going to die, but he's the least valuable unit of what I've brought over. Also, he's going to leave the city um, for me to be able to attack it. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try and get rid of. Um, I'm going to try and get rid of their uh, units first. So, so my son-in-law and Princess Spasia have given birth to Lysander. My uh, so my daughter's given birth, which is grand. So I'm going to focus all my attacks on this warrior. <laughs> For the time being, because as you can see, everyone can attack once per turn. You can't attack multiple times, so 
it's sort of, I, I believe, uh, at least in my opinion, is sort of incentivized to try and take out the units. Um, so that obviously they have less attacks they can perform against you in that turn. So I believe that was a smart thing to do. I should be able to get them next turn. If I can get Kanesh, that would be grand. And then I'm going to try and rename it to a Greek city that, well, I can remember the name of. So she's my third in line, my daughter. And I'm going to get her to be, yeah, she'll become a deal maker. Why not? So, a delegation from a distant kingdom has arrived at court as a mark of respect. They offer us a choice of exotic creatures to add to our royal menagerie. So, um, I'm just going to go for pet fish owner, I believe. Uh, because pet monkey owner is cool, but it leads to a few problems. So, um, let's go ahead and found this city. Hmm... I'm going to give this city, I'm going to give it to the uh, Alchemenid to get the extra orders per year, because I believe I get uh, more orders per city, so let's always do that. More orders per city with them at the head. They're going to focus on, yeah, that unit. <laughs> hmm. This is a bit, uh, this is a bit, mm, I don't know what to do. So, Oh, okay. As Cre uh, Craterius of Athens drove back the enemy assault, he toppled from his oar, shattering one knee. He had to be carried off the field, and surgeons may say he may never walk again. At least his uh, life was spared. So, I'm definitely going to go for this um, guy here to try and get rid of him. And uh, all the warriors we were building should now be coming to fruition, which is all good as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and go for colonization because this allows us to expand our cities to tiles outside of their range um, and take advantage of the resources on those tiles. So, I, I think colonization is probably the way to go, personally. I think uh, that's what I want to do. Because then I can, for example, buy this tile and take advantage of a camp. Oh no, that I don't need to buy that tile. But you know, say for example, it was outside. I could buy it. I could buy these two and go for that. Let's say um, it just gives us more options to um, do things with the resources that we have uh, near us. So I definitely want to uh, improve that. Now, yes, I'm going to go for the mine here because. I do believe we would. We do need more uh, iron production because um, it's a bit low at the moment. Right. Are these? I've I've already moved these guys. What am I trying to do? Just keep moving you in a straight line this way, then. Man, this ocean's big. I didn't expect an ocean this big. Hmm. Cool, okay. Right, um, that will bring us to the end of this tin. Let's uh, go ahead and end the tin. I was just seeing if I could, you know, potentially ask Babylon to help us with the war, but uh, I don't think I can, so not for the time being at least. So that is fantastic. They didn't take any more of my units. Man, my uh, air's absolutely flying these children out. Um, so, let's go ahead and take out this guy, because he doesn't deserve to live after the damage he's caused my units. And let's get my uh, swordsman over here. 
Ooh. As citizens of Corinth, trust in our justice and leadership. As a result, city leaders wish to strengthen the legal system and encourage more people to participate in the judicial process. They are concerning the formation of a misthophoria, a paid function that provides jurors with a salary such as a position would be costly, but it would make Corinth's court second to none. So it would increase my civic, my culture. Hmm. I'm going to, yeah, why not? At times when ruling proves stressful, you gaze at your beautiful new fish. It movement calms you, makes you hungry. <laughs> so my guys are uh, thinking about eating the fish, I think. Okay. Then ne not this turn, but next turn I can probably go and move this guy up to help with the assault on that city. Get that explorer down there. Hmm. I do need a bit more gold production as well. I reckon we can do this though. I, I think we, we have the capabilities to um, fight off the Assyrians and, and take Kanesh at least. Oh, my warrior still is not alive though. He's not really alive for longer. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. The wealthiest citizens of Athens wish to hold a public feast in honour of the city's ongoing prosperity. They have asked the governor, Governor Posenius Societies, to take the seat of honour. So he would gain discipline, charisma, or wisdom. Yeah, gain more wisdom because, yeah, just gain more um, science output again, uh, which is always a good thing. So we would gain a birium. I don't think that's that important. However, a lumber mill is. To be able to get um, an income of wood would be very useful. You were awakened in the middle of the night with tragic news. The body of your daughter was found in the streets outside a popular banquet hall. The doctor believes he died, she died, from an, o from an overabundance of drink. This person was a charming, affable personality. You wish to pay a tribute. So Corinth would get less. We would go into mourning. We'd want a day of reflection, yeah, for the extra civic. That's pretty good. So, she would like me more for this trade, and we would gain stone. We, yeah, we just gain stone and they gain something. Yeah, civic, why not? Okay. What's that? A hippodrome? Hmm. That'd be worth going for. So I would need more culture to build a stronghold there anyway. Actually, I'm not going to build a hippodrome. I'm going to build a road and I'm going to lead it back to the capital. And I might do the same here, actually. First of all, though, I am going to build a mine. Ooh, I'm going to build a mine there, sorry. So I don't have anything to sell, really, but there we go. Get some gems. It's a luxury. Always a good thing. Right. So. Attack. 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 Get rid of that unit. I could also then call this guy up. Oh yeah, because I've routed them. I can... Attack again, which I am going to do. It's going to it's going to decrease their life, and you know it's not going to be very effective. But at least next turn, hopefully, we will be able to um, do something there. Oh, scouts encountered an expedition of strangers following the symbol. They called themselves the Persians and hail from a distant land beyond the horizon. So I'm just going to maintain the initial truce with them. They're far away. They're across the ocean. I don't think I have to worry about wars or anything like that with them at the moment. So, we're just going to keep them at a distance. Right, and um, we are we are over again by a little bit, but that doesn't really matter too much. Um, I am going to call that an episode here. I think we're progressing pretty well. We are going to um, eventually take that city from the Assyrians. Definitely don't want them encroaching on my land. Um, and we will, uh, you know, prosper, hopefully. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode, then please... Uh, hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe if you want to you know 
view more content that I make. And any comments that you want to leave or any advice regarding this game would be especially helpful so that I can, you know, improve and uh, hopefully provide a better experience for you guys. So, yeah, uh, I've enjoyed this and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.